what we say that if you have a proton, neutron, electron pass through the field, we say that the proton will be attracted towards a negative. Of course, one well, proton is positive. Neutron is zero charge, not attracted to anything. Electron, on the other hand, is negative, will be attracted to the positive. This is what we know. But you notice that the electron is a magnitude of one, proton is a magnitude of one. How come the electron attracted so much? Because electron is way lighter. So in other words, the lower the mass, the bigger the angle of attractions. So we draw a conclusion. We say extent of deflection, which is called angle of deflection, is proportional to your charge. Bigger the charge, smaller the mass, the bigger the angle of deflection. I think this is where we last left. So now let's take a look at some questions together. A little bit of assigning independent question for you to work on. Let's take a look at what example number one. Now do not underestimate these questions. I know a lot of people might think that this is such a simple questions. Nobody will ask one. Actually, I tell you the truth. This type of question is a famous A-level exam question. They don't just come on MCQ, you know. Somehow I noticed that they don't even come on MCQ that much these days. They come out in paper three questions. Paper three are essay questions. They love this question in paper three. I don't know why also, but they like to be paper three. That's why this become a very important question, even in J1, especially for a promo exam. So let's follow me closely along the way. Now, first of all, let's take a look. Huh? They say that a plasma is a Gaussian mixture in which the atom has been completely stripped off their electrons. So let's take a look here. If you strip off the electron, what does it mean? That means that there's no more electron. It's only a nuclei. Nuclei only contain proton and neutron. Now, if you only proton and neutron, that means I can determine the charge based on my proton because neutron is zero in charge. So keep in mind, this one has no electron. Because of possible use in controlled nuclear fusion reaction, plasma behavior has been intensively studied. So you have different nuclei. One H nuclei, 4HE nuclei are deflected as shown. Now keep in mind, the H and the HE are positively charged depending on number of protons inside. So I will say that my hydrogen is positive because one proton. Helium on the other hand is two protons. If you check the periodic table, it's two protons, so two positive charge. Let's take a look at part one. Give you reason for your answer, suggest the polarity plus or minus of your plate A. So what is the polarity here? Now, first of all, I think we can determine that the polarity likely is negative. But how do we explain it words? This is the way how we explain it words. Huh? You will say that plate A is negatively charged. And why? Because the positively charged one H and four H E. Oops, sorry, my four should be a superscript. Four H E nuclei are attracted to it. So you state and you reason it because a nuclei attracted to the negative terminal. And here we go. How one is that? Now, for this kind of question, they like to ask you a lot of things, like calculation and explanation. Like for example, part two. Explain why the proton, 1K, is deflected twice as much as 4HE. Now, the way to explain this kind of question, especially explain why one angle is twice than the other one, all you need to do is use mathematical way to present your answer. Let me show you what I mean by mathematical way. Take for example here. I know that my proton, the charge is one, mass is one. So that means angle of deflection is four proportional charge over your mass. And let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to write down part two. I will say that for your charge over mass, remember charge over mass represents the extent of deflection, is equals to plus one over one. This represents your proton. Now let's do a comparison to your helium. So your helium is a charge over mass as well. It's equals to, the charge is plus two because it has no electron, only your proton. So that is a total of two proton, I put inside plus two. Mass is four, and this is 
for helium. If you reduce it to lowest term, it's half. So one is one value, the other one is half value. That is the reason why proton has twice the angle of deflection. So we can draw the conclusion. Then we can say, hence, one H nuclei is deflected twice as much as 4HE nuclei. Uh, that's what I mean by mathematical way. So that means you quote out the value, you're charged over a mass, and you charge over a mass, and you say that, hey, this is half, this is one. So you draw the conclusion. And this is your part two. So this is explanation in terms of why something is twice, something is three times. So same method. Now part three is calculating angle of deflection. Now there are many, many methods to approach these questions. I will show you my method. Okay, my method not necessarily is the best. I think it's the method I find that is most comfortable with me. Remember, the best method is always the method that is most comfortable for you. So for part number three, angle of deflection for 2H nuclei. So what I like to do is write out angle of deflection is proportional to charge over your mass. Angle of deflection for the first one, I think it's about, let's see, your proton is four. So let me write down four degree. Proportional to plus one over one. This is equation one. I want to find out my 2H. So my 2H angle of deflection, maybe I say angle of deflection for 2H is proportional. Now the charge will remain unchanged because proton is like an IC for your atoms. It's unique to individual. So the H, the proton remain unchanged, but the mass is two because the mass is two here. They still don't get confused. And this is equation two. Now, what do I do? Very simple. You take equation one divided by equation two. All you need to do is just find out the value. Four degree over angle of deflection of 2H. When you divide, it becomes equal. One over one divided by one over two. And you should be able to, to find out angle of deflection for your 2H is 2 degree. And here we go. This is how you solve these questions. I think this is only part one, right? Here, part one. Now I'm going to repeat the same procedure for part two. So you can try it out at the same time. You can check my answer on the screen, see whether we get the same working correct. Now remember, it's more about the presentation of working. You can present in this manner. Some of you prefer to present it as angle of deflection equals to K times Q over M. If you prefer this way, it's fine as well, but I won't be using this method. I'll be using just proportional relationship. So let me continue to part two. In the meantime, for those of you who want to try, you can go okay first. I use a different color here. So I repeat the same procedure. Angle deflection, this come around would be three helium. So remember the proton remain unchanged. Now you take this as equation one, and this is equation three. So you take equation one divided by equation three. And from here, you will get an answer. So which means that this one will be equals to four over angle of deflection. That's your three he is equals to one over one divided by two over three. Then you find your answer. Angle of deflection will be equals to eight over three degree. Now you'll find some kind of a weird fraction answer, which is very, very normal. But you will see a lot of weird fraction answer. 